Hi Kelly TM today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make this comical cartoony YouTube channel art or Twitter header on Photoshop it's kind of like this if it's on Twitter and then it's kind of like this if it's on YouTube so as we can see it's a bit similar if you are a big fan of Chatronic and as, as we can see that it's similar to what he has on his channel we have this cartoony effect on the text on the star explosion on the thing and then we have this scribbly looking thing on the background just like what I have here it's yeah it's pretty similar and yeah it's something that I got inspired from and yeah not terribly complicated to make it's fairly simple to do and yeah so today we're I'm gonna be teaching you how to make this thing and yeah before we get started with the tutorial itself make sure to leave a like and yeah sit back relax and I hope you guys will find this tutorial very helpful and yeah so without further ado let's get started with the tutorial itself so first of all open up photoshop and like this and go to file new so the size is going to be 1500 by 500 so this is basically the default size of the twitter header and yeah so we have this blank canvas right here and then next what you're going to do is go to the fill layer and then just pick a color and anything any color that you want like basically orange or maybe blue something like this and you know what I'm gonna go with the pink with the hot pink like this and like so okay there we go and then I'm gonna fill by clicking on the f canvas and it will fill out something like this okay and then as we can see that we have some scribbles right here that is a bit abstracty thing going on here and as we can see that the color of the um, the scribbles are a bit brighter than the background so for example this background is blue then the scribble as we can see is a bit lighter than the background so as we can see we uh, I mean like let's let's just be real that is too eye hurting okay so let's a little bit change the color okay so it's that's a bit more eye pleasing to me okay so now let's just pick another color for the scribbles itself just just draw it a little bit to the left something like this and yeah as you can see we have a little bit of a difference in the brightness of the color and then click ok make a new layer and then go to brush and and as we can see that you can actually vary the thickness of the brush itself and as we can see right here we have a a more thick uh, kind of brush and then we have a little bit of thin uh, scribbles right here and yeah it's a bit more various and yeah so what I'm gonna do is basically just do the same thing so for example I'm going to make a little bit uh, something that is a little bit um, th thick so for example like, like this or oh, I guess it's um, not too light and like that so for example I'm gonna make it something like this like that and something like this and like this and there we go so yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure that the hardness is a hundred percent so it doesn't look blurry at all so just make sure that the thickness is a bit balanced for example at this section right here I'm gonna drag it out so we have a thinner and then we have a thicker so do not make like for this section it's only the thicker version and then for this section there's only the thinner then yeah just make it randomized so for example I'm going to make this uh, the thicker thicker brushes so it's a bit more spread out something like this like that like no it's bad and yeah so and then next you're just going to change the size of the brush and then do the same thing like this and like that like this like that like that and yeah I'm gonna speed up the process and yep yeah, play the music If you just screw up just like I did you can just go uh, use the eraser tool and then just 
uh, erase anything that you want and yeah it's safe because it's already on the different layer so yeah it's pretty much sa uh, safe okay and yeah back to the speed up So okay, that's pretty much it for the uh, first section. So we don't have to um, complete the whole with canvas. Like so now, once you've already done with this, with just pretty much enough one section, just uh, go to the uh, move tool, and then while this layer is selected, hold Shift and Alt, and just drag it out from the place itself and then as you can see now it doesn't look very good because yeah it looks a bit too uh, it's a bit too obvious that it's just a duplicate and what you can do is go to the marquee tool and then right click on the layer itself go to freeze transform and then just flip horizontal and then just maybe just rotate it a little bit something like this and apply that formation and then there we go then yeah it doesn't look so obvious that this is just the duplicate and then then yeah just do the same thing just select all both of these layers by holding control and then just do the same thing shift alt drag it out like this select all of the layers and then shift alt again make it something like this and then Boom, there we go, we have all of the canvas all filled with um, scribbles. And as we can see that we have some unnecessary spaces right here that doesn't look very good. So now what you're going to do is make another layer and just fill it out with some scribbles like this. Just fill it out, just make it like, yeah, just fill it out something like this and yep. Um, yeah, and it's making a bit less obvious and yeah it looks a bit even more randomized and yeah it looks a bit more nicer something like this something like that and like this this again like this like this and then like, oh shit like that like that up up so oh so much nope nope like this 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 like that vary the size of it make another one like this like this and this one is not ready yet there, there we go nope okay obvious there we go like this and there we go so now we're done with the scribbles itself now it looks more randomized and it looks a little bit nicer than we did before and now we're pretty much done the 60% of the channel art itself and then as we can see right here we have a star uh, behind the text itself and now we're gonna go making a star itself and go to the new layer make a new layer and then go to pen tool and then just start drawing a star like this just making it something like that and if you mess up kind of like me, you can just hold sh Control Alt Z, so you can go far kind of like this. And if you go too far, just press Control Z again. It will bring you back to where you just messed up. So just do something like this, and that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Nope. 
don't make a straight line here I mean don't make a just make it curvy not, not curvy I mean just make it something like that like that and now once you've already oh shit <laughs> there we go so now once you've already done with the star itself and now it's basically this that's it so now while on while you're on the new I mean on the empty layer just right click on it fill path with foreground color okay and it will fill out the the star itself and then next while it's selected on the layer itself right click again and then delete path and now you have this star thingy yay okay now we're gonna go change the color because it doesn't look good and it's basically just the same color with the scribbles itself and yeah obviously not so visible and then just just go change the color by going to layer layer style color overlay and then I don't know just change it into like orange or maybe blue like this doesn't look good on blue I mean I gotta go with orange I guess or maybe green green hmm I guess I'm gonna go with blue like that so it doesn't look that good yet and now there we go we're done just do a little bit of adjustments with the free transform then, there we go and then as we so now what you're going to do is basically duplicate the layer click OK and then drag the, the duplicate the copy of the layer below the original layer of the star and then go to effects go to stroke and make it position on the center and then just do the size that you want like so click OK and then uh, select the original layer again and then using the move tool and then use the d-pad just nudge it something like this like that like so we are already done with the star itself now we're gonna continue to the text Alright, so the text that I'm gonna be using is called Refic Free. So with this font, you can just use this font for your designs and make profit out of it because it's 100% free and it's free for commercial purposes and stuff. So yeah, you can just use this font for your clothing, um, banners and make money out of it and it's completely legal. And yeah, so the link to the font itself will be in the description down below and yeah. so. Uh, let's type something like cartoons like that cartoons okay there we go and place it up something like this and make a free transform and like that make a little bit bigger and then boom there we go and now we'll just basically do the same thing that we did to the star just duplicate the layer of the text itself like okay drag it below the original layer and then go to layer layer style stroke and then just make uh, make it black and then make it on the center like OK and then drag the original layer a bit to the up uh, and left kind of like so there we go and maybe it's a bit too big like so it looks pretty sick and there we go and I guess <laughs> the star looks really uneven <laughs> okay that looks even worse holy shit okay there we go flip horizontal does this look good okay that's better okay there we go so now we're basically done with the uh, with the channel art itself but if you want to make a bit more detailed like that so I'm gonna change the cartoons into like maybe um, red cartoons red like that it's pretty cool kind of like yellow or green cartoons I'm gonna go with red I guess there we go and then if you can as you can see right here I have uh, an ellipse in the center of the O and also Chatronic also have an ellipse I mean a circle at the center of the O and yes let's do the same thing okay just make another layer and then use the ellipse tool there we go and then use the color of the 
text itself and then just make another ellipse kind of like this by holding shift and alt you're gonna make the ellipse even so it's gonna make a circle kind of like that and then just put it right here and then just by using alt and shift you can drag and duplicate it like that and boom there we go so as we can see that we have a little bit of a gap here. so we're gonna go to the stroked out cartoons text layer right here make a new layer above that layer so with this layer selected you're just gonna go use the polygonal lasso tool and then just fill the gap i mean oh crap okay um like this 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 just fill uh, just patch the the gap with black color and it's extremely safe because it's already on the different layer so no of important layers are gonna be harmed and yeah it's also reversible okay there we go so we're already done with the uh, channel better itself so yeah that's pretty much it for the tutorial itself so if you really find this tutorial very helpful don't forget to leave a like down below leave a comment for some feedback suggestions and questions i will try my best to answer all of them and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and awesomeness so yeah yeah thank you so much for watching my name is galaxy and see you around peace